question where are we meeting the men that actually want to date and be in a relationship because it's not the dating apps it's not it's not the coffee shops I've been trying that. I've been trying that for a while now. Definitely not the bars. Not at my age, because they're all like 21, 22, so they definitely don't want to be in a relationship, and I definitely do not want to be a cougar. Nothing wrong with that, just not my type. I, again, tend to go about eight to 10 years older than me. I found out even those don't want to date for a relationship. Even they are still figuring things out. Yeah, they are. So where are we meeting the ones that want to date and be in a relationship that want to date to eventually get into a relationship that are dating to see if we're compatible for a relationship not other things no 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 i need to know because i have yet to find them <laughs> and i've been looking so maybe i should stop looking i don't know but if you know please let me know help your girl out where are we meeting the good men where are we meeting the men that actually want to be in a real relationship let me know you're not gonna like the answer. Where do you meet a good man? You don't. They chose to stay away from you and they made that choice a long time ago. Leave them alone. Where do you find a man who want to be in a relationship? You don't. They are already in relationships because they dated with a purpose. They didn't date it for fun. They didn't date it for hookups. They dated to find relationships and they got themselves into relationships. Leave those ones alone too. I got married young. I was 21. Barely. Like three days, 21. Um already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. And I remember feeling like my marriage was temporary from the beginning. Like that I wasn't going to make it. And I didn't know what that feeling was. I just thought it was fighting for me. I was pushing him away. Um, but I, I never truly accepted happiness. I left the good guy. <laughs> he looks at and is like, that's a dad. That's a husband. That's how it's supposed to be. He did the dishes. He cleaned the house. He took the kids to school. He worked all day. He made good money. He supported us. Um, I mean, yeah, we had our problems, but he was the good guy. So I'm here to tell you it's okay to leave the good guy. Why? What exactly makes it okay? Funny how the previous lunatic wanted a good guy and this one had one and she just threw him away. I'm sure she doesn't believe what she said at the end. It's okay to leave the good guy because she's now being ran through by every other guy who's never gonna take her seriously again even more after they hear her story. It's okay to leave the good guy? I'm sure it is because he's gonna get his life together once again. But you? You'll be crying after that good guy for the rest of your life. Even if you don't want to admit it. Your Where Are All The Good Guys video is just a few years away. I'm 28. I'm going to be 29 in April next year, so not that long left. Not that long left. I'm going to be 29 years old and there is not a single soul on this planet who wants to be the love of my life. Where the f*** are you please? Where are you? Because I am sick of this. I'm sick of the streets. I'm sick of everything. At this point, I might just, I don't know. Maybe change sides. What's going on, please? Tell me what's going on. Even if you switch sides, you're still gonna be, oh, well, you. You're tired of being on the streets. Maybe you shouldn't have been on the streets in the first place. I woke up and I look at my phone. I don't have any messages. I've just realized. Hello, it's day four of being single. And I broke my one day streak of not crying. Um. And I keep telling myself, I am repeating this mantra, I am a strong, independent woman, and I do not need a partner to feel fulfilled, happy, or safe. That's great, you go queen, that's amazing, that's awesome, good for you. And you can stop crying now because you could have fooled me. Funny how these days all the strong and independent are crying and the not so independent are happily married. It's Friday night, and the only one that I'm in bed with has a tail. I literally have no reason to be crying right now, but like, this boy messaged me saying he started talking to another girl and he was like, I don't 
basically said like i don't want to talk to you anymore like i just want to let you know and i'm like i kind of already knew but like it still hurts and i but he told me he didn't want a relationship so like why the fuck am i upset about it but i think the thing that i'm upset about is like <laughs> boys never pick me i'm never the one that they want to have a relationship with because literally i always talk to boys and then they get in a relationship like not that long after like you want a relationship you just don't want it with me and that hurts you might want to go for relationships instead of hookups that may help <sighs> that i'm done i'm done with situationships with guys who are just using me because you know they want to sleep with me or they just you know want to hook up with me or like or something like that i'm just very very done I'm done, I'm exhausted, guys. It hurts when men use manipulation to try to get you to trust them, to let your guard down, to get what they want from you. These people are masters at lying, switching it around, minimizing it. You've got to let go of the idea that you were stupid for falling for them. It's women want to be able to have casual without being traumatized every time. There is such thing as like treating somebody like a woman and having a basic amount of respect. Respect? What am I supposed to respect? You wanting to have casual hookups? All you have to do to sleep with a guy is you saying yes to him saying yo. Is that what I'm supposed to respect? Not in a million years. Tinder date, right? We meet outside, meet together. He looks at me up and down and goes, this isn't going to work. So we get there and we meet in the parking lot. So he got a full view of me. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, comes back, throws down a $10 bill and walks out. Is the bar that low that you want me to drive to you and buy you food? Yeah, pretty much. And when you do give him his food, make sure you say it was your pleasure. I remember this one. She's always talking and giving advice to others on high standards and why you should not accept a coffee date. Oh well, in all fairness, she did not accept the coffee date. She's just delivering food to some guy. Dude, men are so f like, I swear to fucking God, did they all go to Clown University? Are they all the mayor of Clown Town? Because I don't understand who taught these freaking bozos how to act and who brought them up. But I don't understand because collectively as a whole, they're all idiots. There's not one better than the other, to be honest with you, in my experience. I've just seen a bunch of Clown Towns. I've had enough. Leave me alone. Sounds good to me and leave you alone with it. I'm gonna switch this around a bit because this will be the end of the video. I'm gonna give fashion advice. Yeah, if I've said it, I'm gonna give advice, me. But still, it goes kind of like this. If you have two chins, wear a turtleneck. If you have two bellies underneath those two bellies that are visible, don't wear whatever you're wearing. Put on a sweater. But I am done for the day. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.